right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones finds himself in yet another big spot here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Sergei Pavlovich. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Paul. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kick the door in. Yes. If you're going to open, if you're going to say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now the Knicks could just get their act together. Knicks will never get their act together, and I'm okay with it. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing it, but now he's got to settle it if he wants to finish the fight. Oh, look at the fight. He's not going to quit on this. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, big shots from the top. Excellent ground and pound there by Pavlovich. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this one. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot and he drives his entire body into that hook. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Take down defenses there. 
Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that gilly is tight. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get sunk. Back to the feet now. Under a minute to go in the round. Big clinch. Watch him shift and try to start getting his punches off. A huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. There you go. There you go. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Pavlovich. Passes the half. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. Though. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys. But nothing is more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, Ready. one guy escaped. Yeah. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of this martial arts. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches, more of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot, and that's what we're witnessing tonight. Lands with the ground and pound. Jones is in half court. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. He's isolating an arm. Arms in deep. Oh, he's out! Pavlovich's pass is denied. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, they're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try, and in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. I, I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Pavlovich. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, right in the mouth. Nicely done. Working out of the half guard here. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Pavlovich. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. 
Ten seconds to go in the round. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to, to react a little quicker. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Man to jab. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Pavlovich. Just missed with the left there. Pavlovich going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job. Bill. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has for his position. Oh, that one landed, yep. Pavlovich gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Well, oh, oh, flying knee to the head. Keep your hands up. Oh, good work with the jab there. Put himself into the half guard. Like the control, yep. Nice transition. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not <laughs> a fun position to be in, in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Jones is back in full mount. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's going to job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing at the top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch up kicks. Notice how he leads with his hip when he goes to land the strike. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot. Follow up shot. 
shot that will finish the fight. Beautiful. Nice shot there by the champ. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. He's worse. He's worse. Just over three minutes to go now. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Now he's got good body position, yo. Yep. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Oh, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. Food shots landing on both sides. Jones got the takedown. A nice transition there. And showing off the fight IQ. He's, oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Beautiful grounded power. And it looks like he has a cut now. A series of punches from the top here by Jones. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Under a minute now to go in the round. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. That is tight. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. Let's go. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee, so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one in the dressing room after the fights. No, John. <laughs> John, John, listen. No, John. No. <laughs> Don't throw a flying knee. Okay. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Back to the well with that right hand. Oh, the best head kick you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big knee. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, that's a good strike there by Johnny Bo. Fight time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. 
Two minutes now to go in this one. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. I give one, I give one. He's in a lot of trouble now. He's in a lot of trouble. Punch Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, big punch land. It's so clear. Oh. See how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 46. 50 45 and 50 45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones Jones! All right, so you heard it there from Bruce. Congratulations to John Jones, your winner tonight by decision. Had to dig deep at times against a credentialed opponent, but uh, result usually the same, a W for Johnny Bones Jones.